Hello, my name is Andrea Page. I am the stenograph sales rep for Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, West Virginia, and Washington, D.C. Thank you for viewing my webinar today. I hope you enjoy it. I chose a feature from Case Catalyst for this webinar. Um, it will be very quick. You know, Case Catalyst is full of fantastic features. This one, a lot of people may not know about. Let's get started. I'm going to talk about the audio sync codec. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me now? Well, the quality of your audio depends on the sound card in your computer, the microphone you're using, the recording environment, and the codec you're using. This short webinar will show you in a few steps, and I do mean a few, how to improve the quality of your audio when writing real time. When you're starting a real-time file, the first function you select is Translate. Once you click on Translate, this dialog box will open. Now, the audio sync feature of Catalyst synchronizes the recorded audio with the real-time transcript. To use the audio features, your eKey license must have audio sync capabilities. To record audio, <coughs> excuse me, you check the record audio box. And if you want to keep the record audio option a constant, check the remember setting option box right here. By checking the remember setting option, that will save you from having to check record audio every time you start a real time job. You should definitely set up and test the microphone you're going to use, uh, the recording, and the audio playback prior to starting your real-time job. Now, to change the audio codec, you click on Options in the bottom left corner, and this dialog box will open. We click on the Real-Time tab up at the top here. And this dialog box will open. Now, I just want to give you some uh, uh, history with the audio files because they are limited to two gigabytes. So, from the codec drop down box, which is this box right here, you'll click on this down arrow, um, you can select any of these audio codecs that will work for you as long as they do not exceed the file size limit of two gigabytes. So consider this, 1,000 megabytes equals one gigabyte. So if you select this setting of 231 megabytes per hour, you will exceed the two gigabyte audio file size limitation if your real time uh, job exceeds nine hours. Wouldn't that be nice? Well, the nine hours part. The larger the audio files, meaning from 116 all the way down to 346 megabytes per hour, the larger the audio files, the more time is required to transmit, share, and archive via the internet. And the higher megabyte options are not recommended if you're sending your work via uh, work units through the internet. Please note, very important here, because of the differences in the sound cards and the microphones from manufacturer to manufacturer, a standard codec cannot be recommended. However, I do highly recommend that you test your audio compression rates when you're recording and playing back audio, especially if you're going to be recording from one laptop and playing back on another.
that concludes my webinar on the audio codex. I told you it was going to be quick. I thank you for viewing this webinar, and I hope this tip was very helpful for you. I know you can hear me now, so if you'd like me to do a webinar on a specific topic or feature, please contact me either uh, via phone or email. My information is on the screen.